What is up, everybody? Zaru here, and welcome to another ADS Play Uploading Schedule for the week of Sunday, August 21st to Saturday, August 27th. Yes, I know this is the first one I've done on time in a long time, but like I said last time, um, during the last upload schedule, getting back in the habit of doing, you know, the uploads, uploading schedules on a regular basis, on the regular schedule. So, I got some exciting news. Well, some news. I can't really say if it's exciting just yet. But there's some things in the works that I want to um, make plans, that I'm making plans towards. And hopefully, uh, I can get some time off work in order for me to do these things. This could be like a big step for me in me being able to do what I like doing, which is playing video games on YouTube and possibly doing that as a full time occupation. Um, this is something that I've, you know, really been working hard towards, so I'm going to get started. So first off, before I say anything, I'm not going to talk about the GoFundMe. I, I talked about that last week. I have a pet peeve about, you know, talking about my GoFundMe. A lot of people don't really, you know, like talking about it as I don't like me talking about it as I don't like talking about it. Because, you know, that's not necessarily what y'all came for, but I did want to inform you guys about that last week, so, you know. That's enough of that, but uh, nevertheless, um, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about several things. So, first off, let me just talk about this before I get into the, everything else. Um, I believe, like a couple channel updates ago, I remember telling you guys that you know I plan on doing this as a full time job, and even recently I said that, uh, like a couple minutes ago. But um, one of the other you know, when you make, when you say that you want to do that, you have to have a plan as to how you want to go about doing it. And one of the plans that I had was that I was going to go to different conventions, be it, you know, anywhere in California, and I was going to, you know, try to promote my YouTube channel like that and get with like-minded people who also, like, enjoy seeing video game playthroughs and, uh, and things of that nature, and hopefully, you know, increase the viewership per video thus leading to the overall, you know, amount of views I get in a month, and that could go towards the amount of money that I receive, because I make ad revenue, that's how I make my money off of here, but my people watching my content. And one of my short-term goals was to get to the point where I, where I could pull at least, like, $500 a month from YouTube. Now, I'm not making, like, no, no, you know, enormous amount of money, uh, you know, I mean, as you can probably tell, about five hundred dollars a month being like my short-term goal. But because what I'm making right now, you know, I can add that to like my nine to five check, and it can come out to something that you know I could be, you know, happy about. Um, but I'm trying to take steps towards doing this for full time, you know, for a living. And that was one of my plans in doing so by going to conventions and you know passing out business cards. You business cards, telling people about my channel, maybe possibly getting a panel there, telling people how I got started on YouTube, uh, do meet and greets at these conventions, you know what I'm saying, things like that, that was my plan, um, and I've already, you know, kind of missed two of the conventions that I wanted to attend, now, there are two more conventions coming up uh, in September, from the 2nd until the 4th. Uh, and that's going to be just like in, in like two short days. That's pretty much next week. Yeah, from like the second into the fourth. Uh, so that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that those events are going to be taking place. Now, these two uh, conventions, they have SAC Anime, which is a convention that will be in Sacramento, California, uh, on the second, third, and fourth. And then they have the San Francisco Comic Con which will be also on those same days. So they're kind of playing tug of war with the, with the fans, not unless you want to go to one one day and then go to the next one the other day, and depending on what you like, you know, either or, you can go, I guess the last day you can pick and choose which, which one you want to go to. Um, the reason why I'm doing that, uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because, um, oh, at the most of the reason why I'm telling you this 
because I made plans to go to the Chicago, the well, Chicago, no, the San Francisco Comic Con um, on Saturday. That's you know the date that I set. Me and a bunch of coworkers from work that were already going, you know, like we're all going to take the train and we're just going to go to San Francisco, and we were going to go on that Saturday. The problem is, um, you know, I have to work on that Saturday, but I can request time off. Um, you know, if I need it, and with this being, you know, something that I want to make for, you know, do for a living, but I still need that nine to five, to, you know, kind of, you know, check, you know, like I work for, uh, like a company, and they kind of give good benefits, so I don't want to, like, you know, lose that. Um, and the thing is, they get you for attendance. Like, I, I've, in, in the time that I've been there, uh, let me see, a couple people quit, and about like five people got fired from their job. I've been working there since February you know, of this year, and five people got fired just for, like, attendance alone, well, not necessarily attendance alone, but that was, like, the main thing um, that people got fired for, so I don't want to, you know, not seem available on a day where they need me, and, you know, but this is, like, a big, big leap for me, and I want to go on this day, so I'm hoping that if I ask for the time off, they will be able to grant it to me. Because I do have the sick time, you know, saved up and, you know, in the vacation hours saved up. So, I mean, I would hope that they would let me um, use some of those towards me doing this. Because this is, like, something that I really want to take seriously. And, you know, this would be, like, a huge for me in doing so. So, I don't know. That's the plan. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go through with it because, again, this is, you know, this job and I don't know how they're going to feel about me going, you know, I'm not stupid. Like, I'm not just going to take off and just call in sick and then act like I'm sick and then, you know, go to the convention. That's kind of dumb. I'm not one of those type of people, but, you know, this is something I really want to put my best foot forward and do. So, hopefully, um, let's see, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Uh, I can do this, possibly meet some of you guys that planned on coming or being there, and, you know what I'm saying, we could, uh, you know, we can make it work. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to do something with, um, with this, because I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You know, I've already missed two conventions as it is. I don't want to miss another one. You know, so, because that's like my plan and that I had in, in place. So, that's one of the things I had in mind. Also, um, secondly, I want to talk about the UBL channel again. Keep in mind, I mentioned to you guys that when the next ban list comes out, that's when the UBO channel is going to launch. I'm going to promote it on here and move all my UBO uh, viewers that were looking for UBO content on my channel and missed that UBO content that was on this channel. I'm going to tell you guys about it, and I'm going to, you know, direct you to that channel with the links in the description, et cetera, et cetera. So the time is drawing near for that. So guys, um, guys, keep your eyes open. Uh, for new channel updates or even like a special video that I drop promoting that channel. So you guys are not going to be without Yu-Gi-Oh! content uh, for that much longer, just like another week, you know. So, you know, just like, a, after like another week and a half, but you guys are going to be good. So, um, so yeah, I want that to be, uh, you know, just clarified. And now we can get to the good stuff. We can get to the games. We can get to all the, you know, stuff I normally get to. So, I actually got a couple games that, you know, I've pre-ordered, a couple games that I've bought. And one game I'm kind of iffy about. But first, let's talk about the games that I already have and the games that I'll be getting um, this week. So, as you guys know, I'm already, you know, I still have Star Ocean. I haven't played Star Ocean in so long. I played a little bit of it, um, you know, this past week. I have videos of that I need to upload with Fairy Fencer F, Advent Dark Force. I'm almost finished with, I'm pretty much, I'm like close to finishing that game. I think, I don't, I don't think I got that much left. I, I could probably beat it within like a day or so. Um, so I want to hurry up and beat that game, so before I upload any Star Ocean, well, I'll probably upload the Star Ocean footage just to give you guys a break from Fairy Fencer, but most certain, 
most definitely Fairy Fencer is uh, pretty much about to be done. So the conclusion of Fairy Fencer is probably going to be this week now unless they have some post-game uh, content, which the, which the, those type of games normally have. Um, but at least the main story will be finished. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say that. So look forward to the conclusion of the main story of Fairy Fencer F. And if, if there's any post-game uh, content that I uh, can do, and I'm going to try to do that as well. So, um, And also, of course, I'm going to upload Star Ocean because I missed that game, kind of. And then we have Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Um, and this is like the sequel to, I think, Mankind Undivided, if I'm not mistaken. Like, that was the last game, Mankind Undivided. I don't think this is a... Um, I don't think that Deus Ex Mankind Divided is a I think this is a sequel, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I don't think this is like a revamped game. I think this is a, like a sequel, if I'm not mistaken. Because uh, I didn't play the first game. Because I know they had like a like another uh, Deus Ex game that I never, you know, played. Um, that game had like mixed reviews and things like that. Um, so I'm hoping to finish Fairy Fencer F in time to send it back. That way I can get uh, Deus Ex and Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan, again, I don't think it's going to take me a long time. To beat. I mean, like when you look at the company that it's made by, uh, Koei and and Koei, I believe that's how that's the name of the company. Like, forgive me if I didn't pronounce it right, but I don't, you know, but I believe that's the name of the company. Those are guys that's known for like the uh, like the Dynasty Warriors and the Samurai Warriors games, uh, like the Mu style style gameplay. And I don't know, you know, in those games, like, the story modes typically end kind of quickly, even though they might have, like, multiple stories. Like, the, the campaigns don't really last too long because they have, like, different stories where you can tell the story from, like, a different person's perspective. So I don't know if they're going to do that with the game or anything like that, but I'm not expecting it to last long, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure they're going to maybe have, like, some online co-op between friends and things like that. Um, I don't know if they're going to have, like, an original storyline. I'm pretty sure from what it seems they're going to follow the anime. You know, they're going to follow the anime and I don't know if they're going to put like some other stuff in there because they did announce that they were going to do a season two. They were just waiting on the manga to finish. So I don't know if they're going to throw some surprises in there or, or maybe even try to tease you with what the second season of Attack on Titan is going to be. So I don't know. But most certainly Deus Sex is going to get... Um, I should have that game. I mean, I've had it in my queue for like a long time. Since, you know, as was for literally for as long as they had it on GameFly, it, it's been in my queue. So, um, I'm, they should send it to me. Uh, hopefully, it's not the same situation like with uh, one of those other games that I had on here. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was No Man's Sky, and you know, I didn't have it in my queue for a long time, and they, you know, ended up. They didn't have enough copies to send to me. So, that's what that's about. Now, on to the other games that I had this week. So, I have the Attack on Titan, uh, the, uh, the Titanfall 2 tech test that I plan on uh, trying out. Um, you know, this is the first time that Titanfall has been on PS4. I don't think the last one was on PS4. I think the last one was an Xbox exclusive. Um, I didn't hear nothing about Titanfall being on... Uh, Excuse me, an Xbox One exclusive. Um, uh, like the last game. So, Titanfall 2, they brought it to PS4 as well as Xbox One. Uh, and they can have a tech test. I don't know how much longer it's going to last. But I am going to uh, try try out the Titanfall tech test. Now, you guys know I don't play a lot of first-person shooters. This one has mechs, and I like Gundam Wing and Gundam G Gundam. And all the other iterations of Gundam uh, Wing that have come out, except for Gundam Seed. I don't really like Gundam Seed that much. But, you know, Big Mechs, that's kind of like my, you know, my, I don't know, I guess you could say that's kind of like my comfort zone. I like that. So I'm interested in seeing what this combat is going to be like, because I don't play too many first person shooters at all. Uh, I purchased um, Gus and Elysian Tail, and Elysian Tail. And this kind of like an indie game, well, it's not like an indie game, but it's an indie game that's kind of along the lines of, um, I really don't know what to compare it to. 
but you can tell that the sprites are like hand drawn and the animation is pretty smooth. Um, it, it's a pretty good, it look, looks like it can be like a pretty promising game. So, most definitely, you guys are going to see some of this right here. Um, and just going back, just to uh, show you guys what else I have. Um, I have the the Resident Evil 7 teaser, the beginning hour. Um, I don't know what they're planning on doing with Resident Evil this time around. I downloaded the teaser. I didn't play it yet. Um, but I do plan on doing that. So, you guys, keep your eyes out for that this week as well. Um, as you guys can see, I currently have God Eater, God Eater Resurrection. Now, this is the prequel to, you know, as you, you know, if you guys notice, I don't have God Eater 2 in my queue on Gamefly like I, like I showed you last time. That's because, um, I did pre-order God Eater 2, uh, for the PlayStation 4. Uh, I, I downloaded it digitally. The reason why I did that instead of going, you know, get like a hard copy was because when you, I don't know if they're doing this at like GameStop or Walmart as well, but on PlayStation Network, if you, I'm, I don't know if they have it on Xbox One as well, but if they do, I'm pretty sure they're offering the same deal. Um, they, they may be offering the same deal, I'm not 100% sure. But if you pre-order God Eater 2, you got God Eater Resurrection, which is the prequel, for free. So you got that as like a free download. So that's the reason why I went ahead and got it. You know, I see God Eater in the trailers. Um, it, it, it seems to be my style of game. Uh, it seems to be like real-time combat. You know, um, it kind of reminds me of like Devil's Day Cry and uh, Ninja Gaiden a little bit. And I kind of want to see what they're going to do with that. I'm kind of eager to see what that's about. So, and last but not least, I want to talk about King of Fighters uh, 14. Now this, is, now, this is only like the demo version. Obviously, the game isn't out yet. But... I'm kind of iffy when it comes to King of Fighters. I haven't played a King of Fighters game in it since, like, King of Fighters, what, 99? And how long, you know, you know what I mean? Like, and I think I played, like, a couple, uh, let me see, like, I think I played King of Fighters 2001. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but yeah, like, it's been a long time since I played a King of Fighters game, and I, I'm playing, like, I played the demo already, like, I did, like, the challenges and things like that, and I beat them, it's just that, you know, it's, it's like a game that you used to be good at, but it kind of just feels weird, because, I me, mean, I've been playing Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, you know what I mean? The King of Fighters is a different animal. You know, this is SNK Playmore, you know, they, they these are the guys that created Samurai Showdown and Metal Slug, I guess since we're talking about fighting games, like Samurai Showdown would be like the only other uh, fighting game that I can think of. Um, like Red Earth, I think that was the name of that game. And they did, you know, even though they had Capcom versus SNK and like SNK versus Capcom, which is pretty much like the same game, but they were just drawn and like created differently. Um, you know, Capcom versus SNK looking more of like a Street Fighter-esque, you know, like play style. Like it looked like highlighted sprites and, you know, Basically, like, it looked more cartoonish, and, um, with SNK versus Capcom, it looked more of, like, a realistic, you know, character. So, like, it looked more realistic, like, it looked more realistic. And, uh, I'm just on edge on whether or not I really want to get King of Fighters or not. Would you, would, would you guys, um, be interested in seeing me play King of Fighters? I'm gonna leave it up to you guys, because I don't really know. I'm still debating, um... I don't know when this is supposed to drop. Like, when is King of Fighters supposed to drop? I don't know. 23rd? I mean, I could put it, I could, you know, well, I'm not going to put it in my key. Because, look, with fighting games, I don't like to have them on disc. I like to have them, you know, downloaded. That's the reason why Street Fighter V and Mortal Kombat XL are downloaded. Um, let's see. If I can look it up on Gamefly really quick. Um... I think King of Fighters, I, I don't know if it comes out on the 30th or it comes out on the 23rd. I'm not sure. Uh, King of Fighters. Well, be out, oh, no, that's, that's coming out tomorrow. Oh, well, normally they send the, you know, the games out like a day ahead of time. 
so I'm not really um, you know, looking. So, like the 23rd is the last day that I have. Like tomorrow is going to be the last day that I have to um, pre-order it if I'm going to do it. So I want you guys' opinion. Like, are you guys are interested? Are you interested in even seeing me play this game? Do you even care? Like, because I'm like iffy about the whole thing. I don't know. Um, look at this fake mobile suit. Gundam assault suit. Plato's. Like, come on, man. You know this mobile suit Gundam all the way. Anyway, um, <laughs> but yeah, that's um, just something that I'm interested in. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. It's still iffy. Uh, like, I just don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. It's one of those things that, like, it's a toss-up. I'm going to leave it up to you guys whether or not you want to see me play King of Fighters or not, because I'm, I'm just iffy about it at this point. I don't know if I really want to play it. So, that's basically it for everything, you know, the conclusion of Fairy Fencer F, I'm going to upload more Star Ocean um, this week as well, I'm going to upload a lot of Star Ocean, because i got to catch up on that, in that game, because um, I should have had that game beat by now, but I've been so into Fairy Fencer F, that game just captivated me, pulled me right in, and I just kept playing that, but yeah, more definitely more Star Ocean this week, um, I'm going to play Dust and Elysian Tail, I'm gonna, uh, God Eater 2 comes out on the 30th, I have this this sneaking suspicion that I could beat God Eater Resurrection within a week if I just go at it hardcore. You know what I mean? I should be able to beat it within a week before God Eater 2 comes out if I just, you know, focus. Uh, and I think I can make that happen. So that's the plan. You know, if not, I'm going to be playing God Eater Resurrection and God Eater 2 off and on, you know, throughout the, uh, you know, like the games so that I can enjoy uh, both of them at the same time, I guess. Uh, also, the beginning hour, Resident Evil 7, uh, the, the playable teaser. Uh, at least I think it's a playable teaser. Um, it's supposed to be like a different style, kind of like what Silent Hill's playable teaser was. So that's what it looked like they're doing with this game. I don't know if it's really going to be that. I don't know if it's just going to be like a first-person horror game or or what. I don't know what they're planning on doing with it. Um, and they got the Titanfall 2 pet test, which I'm eager to play because I don't play first-person shooters. So that's basically everything that we have going on this week. I know it's a handful. We also got the convention. Again, don't forget, I plan on going to the, the San Francisco Comic-Con. Um, I don't want to miss it, but if I have to work, I have to work. You know what I mean? So that's, you know, me and my co-workers, my co-workers are planning on leaving that Saturday. I'm going to try to see if I can get that Saturday off. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. I can't really uh, put anything, you know, like pretty much there's nothing that I can do, but at least that's the plan. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Peace. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, well, see you guys this week for gameplay. <laughs> so, yeah. Leave a comment in the description. Let me know if you want to see me play King of Fighters, man. You got a couple days. You got now and you got tomorrow to tell me. Um, because. I want to get those pre-order bonuses if I'm going to get them. You know what I mean? Normally, they normally they still give them to you if you, you know, download the game and you get, like, the day one edition or whatever. But still, I don't want to take any chances. But just let me know if you're interested in seeing me play King of Fighters. I kind of miss the game, but I kind of don't really, you know, care to play it much. But maybe I can get back into it if, you, if enough people want to see me play it. So that's my stance on that. So, uh... Oh, and also God Eater Resurrection. Don't forget about that. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, and I'll see you guys for gameplay this week.